the book and start reading it for? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. But, hey, here I ask you a quick question. How many of you have heard of the book, Every French Diary, that is for all of you, right? Yes, I need a reason. Yeah, and here for this one, create a reason. Yeah, this is another book. This is another book. That's about logic, it's about philosophy. Okay, anyway, yeah. Here, before we get started, I'm not sure whether you know in France or not. So, how much do you know about in France and her diary? Question number one. This. Picture on the right, picture on the left. First question. Who is in France? Oh, that's so awesome. You know, at least I should know the person who wrote the book. On the left, on the right. Who is in France? Make a guess. Yeah, the next question is 
same frame also talks to an imaginary frame when she wrote in her diary. This is a little bit difficult. If you didn't read it before, she talked to an imaginary frame. Means talk to a frame made up by her when she wrote things in her diary. It's not false. It's a okay, yeah. Because this is the this is the fact. Do uh, you see the white words? Yeah, you see the facts in the end frame. Uh, wrote of the diary in the form of letters to a person named he. Yeah. Um, I would say like, if you are doing what you do, you feel like 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 you when you say it's a abridged version, you mean easier version, in the like in her diary, like she wrote a lot of things. And in the early stages of her writing, she talked to a friend in a friend in different names, like Mary Ann, uh, Belinda, blah, blah, blah. But then she kept using the name Kitty in her diary. But so far, we have no idea who the person Kitty actually was in her diary. Maybe she made the person up. Maybe the person really existed. But in her diary, in her diary, but so far, uh, the researchers of the we are not sure who the person Kitty actually was. Take that. Third question. This. Do you think we are the person to get an end brain again? And her family has replaced her mom for two years. Yeah. So like here, do you recognize what this is? This is a shelf, a shelf, and this is the real place where Anne and her families were, uh, Anne and her family members were hiding. You know the original look? This is the original look. This is the original look. This is the original look. This is the The stairs to lead to the secret room where were Anne and her family members were hiding. So like this was what we call the secret annex. So like here, like during the 1930s, a lot of people, they built this kind of secret rooms uh, between the space of two big buildings. We can show you that if you are now, if you are in the middle of a traditional community, that is a bit more recent, it is a bit more recent community, it is a bit more recent community, it is a bit more recent community. But I think in the old times, the space, because people were afraid uh, if the Gestapo the secret police from the Russia, they went after them. They would search the whole house. So they built the secret room in the space between two buildings. So like when the secret police went to their house, they searched everywhere in their house. They wouldn't have thought of that. There was a secret room built right between the space between two buildings.
呃盖的东西，其实相对来说就是以 V C 来呃加盖的部分，或以 V C P P O X， 中文就翻成维基百科。So here annex means the any part built to the original structure of the building. So if you say it's a legal annex, it's a legal annex, it's a legal annex, it's a legal annex, and an annex, and annex means the actual part added to the original structure of the building. It's a legal annex. So here the next question. Do you think we have questions here again and the others? All passed away in the concentration camps. Do you know the, the French or the expression concentration camps? Yeah, it's only so like here Anne and her family members, did they all die in the concentration camps? No. So there was only one person like that survived. That was her father. father. So not all of them, I mean not all Anne and her family members passed away in the concentration camps. This is a picture of her father. Yeah, this is Anne's father. His name is Otto, O T P O. Yeah, so we can read the facts together. Anne Frank's father. Anne Frank's father. So I, can anybody speak German in here? German, sorry. Can anybody speak German here? Auschwitz. Auschwitz. So I hear the, the letter W is pronounced as B. B. Oh, we can, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Auschwitz. And died in 98 of lung cancer. So I hear Auschwitz is among the biggest concentrations during the Holocaust. Auschwitz is in the most important part of the Holocaust. I will show you a video later after we talk about the video. So like, her father was the only one that survived the Holocaust. And after he left the concentration camp, he found the diary. And he decided to have it published. Yeah, okay. And the next part is this. Uh, can you recognize the picture? I guess in your geography book or your uh, history book, there is a picture like this in the book. No idea? This is the real look, the current look, of the building where Anne and her families were hiding. And this is the statue of Anne Frank, right in front of the building. Yeah. And here, this is the original door of the building. And then maybe uh, the look of the building, the materials, have been changed several times, but the color and the material, especially the door, has remained the same. So I think this is the building of, uh, this is the building where Anne and her family were hiding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the question. Do you think this is where Anne's diary was kept? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, by the family's friend who have them hide from the Nazis. Do you know what this means? I mean, like, when they, after they were staying in the concentration camp, if Anne's diary wasn't destroyed, wasn't thrown away, then who helped to keep the diary of Anne Frank? Was it one of their friends? The answer is, is, is well, like here, this is the fact. Yeah, and this is the lady who helped to have kept Anne's diary. So give me your facts, give me the other friend. Was given Anne Frank's diary by Meet Jeeves, one of the Dutch citizens who helped hide the friends. Yeah, so like, you know what this means. After Anne's father was released from the concentration camps, he went back home. And our friend, uh, his Anne's father, he was given the diary by this lady. This lady, and this lady was among the people who helped hide them in the secret annex. So here the truth was, um, after Anne and her family were caught by the Gestapo, by the secret police, after they were sent to the concentration camp, uh, one of their friends, she found this lady, she found the diary, but she didn't read it, and she didn't throw the book away. But then after Anne's father came back, she returned the diary to him. But you know what, this is some, something interesting. Originally, like this lady, after she, after Anne's father showed her the content of the diary, she was shocked. Because that diary was supposed to belong to Anne Frank herself. So she wrote a lot of personal stuff in the diary. And that is the the last thing she did, she did including, she often complained that Meek Giles and those friends of her dad didn't really take good care of them when they were hiding the secret annex. They showed me how to do that again, so you were so, 
the whole time, because they were talking, something nice about them was that they didn't read Anne's diary when she was in the concentration camps. So they didn't know what she had written in her diary. So they have a mail card, so they have a book that she had written. But she had a book that she had written. 很震惊，因为他不知道说里面写这么多东西，然后他想出版，然后就给他的朋友给看，可是他们看的时候就有点有点不太愿意出版，因为有太多抱怨他们的事情。<笑> yeah, this is true, right? Because like when you have, when you keep your own diary, you are supposed to write all the feelings that are in your heart. Yeah, but later you they realize that this is something important that belongs to part of the history. So they finally like are uh, permitted. For Anne's father to have that republished, yeah. So you're gonna see much today. And here, this would be that. That's all about like Anne Frank's diary. And here, oh, about her sister Margot. Uh, we saw her picture at the beginning of the questions. She also wrote. She also kept a diary, but her diary was thrown away. So like here, actually Anne and her sister they both kept their own diaries when they were hiding in the secret annex. So like if, if Anne's friend, Anne's sister's diary had been kept, maybe we would have two values, right? Like Anne Frank's diary and Anne Margaret's diary, like that. Oh. And yeah. Uh, so in this place, maybe this book, this book, to you, is a little bit new, or you haven't read it. But this book in the Western culture is a book like something that will show the spirit of freedom and anti-war. Uh, during the time of the Holocaust. You have to spread information. All right, so like here, this will be a short introduction about Anne diary, and I try to choose the easier version, and here, there are English words shown at the bottom, so you can listen and read at the same time. It's okay? Anne Frank's short one, Mom Lenzi. It was 1933. Germany was no longer safe for Jewish families like the Franks. So they moved to the Netherlands for a better life. In Amsterdam, Otto ran a business and sold spices. His wife Edith cared for their young daughters, Margot and Anne. But by 1940, Germany had taken control of the Netherlands. Anne and Margot had to leave their friends and go to a Jewish-only school. Despite this, Anne was still an excellent student and hoped to become a writer. On her 13th birthday on June 12, 1942, Otto gave Anne a diary. She immediately began using it. But a month later, the Franks' lives changed forever. The government ordered Margot to go to a labor camp. To save Margot from the labor camp, the Franks went into hiding. With the help of Otto's employees, they stayed in a secret room above Otto's office. There, they lived with the Van Pels family and a dentist named Fritz Pfeffer. To pass the time, Anne wrote in her diary. Like any teenage girl, she wrote about her first kiss with Peter Van Pels. But she also had more serious entries. For example, she wrote about her fear of getting caught by Nazis. She also expressed her frustration of living with so many people in a small place. Anne's final entry was on August 1st, 1944. A few days later, the Nazis discovered the secret room and arrested everyone. The Nazis sent the men to one labor camp and the women to another. The camps were dirty and filled with disease. When the war finally ended, Otto returned to Amsterdam. But instead of finding his family, he found bad news. His wife and daughters had died during the war. One of his employees went to the secret room after the Franks were arrested. She saved some of their personal things and gave them to Otto. One of them was Anne's diary. Otto wanted to honor Anne's wish to become a writer. In 1947, he published the diary with the title, The Diary of a Young Girl. Today, it is one of the most famous books of all time. Okay. Uh, maybe like the book still like even 
so like exciting or like important to you, but like, if you have time, you can like read it maybe in the bookstore or in the library. Or just grab a sense of what the Holocaust was like to the Russian people. Yeah, maybe just history, like, it's still like far away from us, but I try to understand what actually happened in the time to help to help you like trying to learn more about history the Jews or the Western people were suffering during the time of the 1930s. Yeah, especially during World War One and World War II. So yeah, this is it. So here we move on to the reading part. Uh, during the process of our reading discussion, I will show you some of the images, some of the videos that are about Holocaust. But some of them are really scary. Are you sure that you want to see them? I guess I, I will try to choose uh, those not so close, not so horrible ones because there are a lot of uh, like records about those people, those people suffering in the 1930s and 1920s. Yeah, but that means like, but before we move on, I ask you, like in your geography or in your history uh, classes, did you talk about the Holocaust? The Holocaust? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, yeah, so like, if you have time, I'll show you some of the records. Anyway, can I give you a copy of the part and wait for it now? During World War II, the Nazi government of Germany adopted a racist policy that led to the murder of millions of Jews. This came to be known as the Holocaust. In Germany and in the countries occupied by the German army, Jews were forced to wear yellow badges so that they could be readily identified. Later, they were also rounded up and sent to concentration camps, where they were shot, gassed, worked to death or left to die of starvation or disease. For those who could not escape from Germany in time, the only chance of survival was to hide. This was why Anne Frank and her family lived in concealment for two years in the secret annex. For the duration of her hiding, she kept a diary. Below are some of the things she wrote. Okay. Sorry, this, was, this is the background of the diary, so I played a lot of the keywords you can apply to listen to it at the same time. If you had finished all the keywords, you can try to read with uh, MP3 at the same time so that you can try to train your speed of listening and also speaking. Yeah. During World War II, the Nazi government of Germany adopted a racist policy that led to the murder of millions of Jews. This came to be known as the Holocaust. In Germany and in the countries occupied by the German army, Jews were forced to wear yellow badges so that they could be readily identified. Later, they were also rounded up and sent to concentration camps where they were shot, gassed, worked to death, or left to die of starvation or disease. For those who could not escape from Germany in time, the only chance of survival was to hide. This was why Anne Frank and her family lived in concealment for two years in the secret annex. For the duration of her hiding, she kept a diary. Below are some of the things she wrote. Okay, so let's check the keywords together. And before we move on, uh, there's a word during. Please add it to the beginning of the passage because um, when I edited um, the materials, I seem to have deleted the word during at the beginning of the first paragraph. So you can please add the word during. Yeah, because for World War II, please I know. Yeah. So during, during World War II, the Nazi government of Germany adopted a uh, racist policy that led to the murder of millions of Jews. This came to be the network, I don't know, network. Came to be known. Yeah, K N O W. Yeah, okay. So this came to be known as the Holocaust. So here the word Holocaust, we can the word the Holocaust. Yellow badges so that they could be readily built. That's the word. 
Yeah, you're right, identified. So like here we're forced to wear yellow badges. I will show you the picture of the yellow badges later. Then here for the words identified gives another word that begins with R as you so that they could be readily recognized. How do you spell the word recognized? R E C O G N I D. Okay, so like when you say you can so we say you can recognize somebody, you can identify somebody, you can the true right. So here the word readily, may I ask you what the word readily means? We talked about the word, we talked about the vocabulary last Friday. Do you remember the meaning of the word readily? When you say readily, another word for the word readily would be the word e yeah, easily. So if you say like, um, all the facilities on campus will be readily accessible. So we have to study in a certain token and go to see the uh, token we don't eat the fish, you know, easily accessible, readily accessible. So use it readily, you can use it. So later they will also run it up and say to the next word, meal. That's the word. Say to yeah, you're right, concentration task. When you say they were rounded up, so here you can use underline that expression, when you say be rounded up. Here, so you want to show each other. Round to the third year of concentration. You circle, sorry, you circle a group of things or you circle a group of people. So the people are two things. The first one is the first one. 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 Now, if you say the castle had been besieged by, or you can say, oh, uh, Troy. Troy was besieged by the troops for 10 years, but they still couldn't uh, occupy the castle. So if you say like A is besieged by B, it's just basically following. That's the one from the Xinguan Yin, you can say, you know, you know, but sure. The singer was occupied by the passionate fans after the concert. So you can see that the fans were being followed. So you can see that the fans were being followed. So you can see that the fans were being followed. So you can see that A was besieged by B. It means like A was surrounded by so many people, so many fans that the person couldn't get free. So you can see that the fans were being followed. So you can see that the fans were being followed. The coach round up the players and told them what they should pay attention to during the game. In the game, he said, 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 he were gathered together. The players were rounded up before the game started. So okay, so you can draw be rounded up, be besieged by, or be gathered together. So okay, yeah, so thank you. So if you want to see what's in the back, you can see what's in the back. So if you want to see the besieged. Yeah, thank you. So I feel later they were also besieged. So they were able. And it says you can see him past where they were shot, gas, and burned to death, or left to die, starvation, or the next word, passing to the next word, starvation, or the, you're right, disease. How do you spell the word disease? B-I-S-E-A, S-E-O, the language of disease. And here, where they were shot, gas, burned to death. So you want to guess, double S, I-E, the one is killed. Killed by using Poisonous gas, because they want to kill Jews in large numbers. Horrible ways to erase this race. Then they also have a lot of different functions. They use gun to kill, they want to kill them. And they also have a lot of different functions. They use gun to kill, they want to kill them. They also have a lot of different functions. So I hear for those who could not network or syndicate, who could not bus, bus, okay, who could 
could not escape from the Germany type, E S escape E E, yeah, in time. So when you say escape the Germany type, when you say you do something in time scale, E just means you do something early or no. So I guess in time is an expression that I give to you. So like here, when you say like, who knows who could not escape from Germany or late or not? So we can call kind of The only chance of survival was to hide. So that was why Andre and her family lived in the next word. This is a long word. Oh, in the words. That's why Andre and her family lived in, you know, like concealment. So like conceal, hide something. Concealment, the hiding of something. They were separated from the others. I so relationship. So like here, 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 so like here, in the secret annex, okay. so like for the author hiding, here this is one of the key word, Ruby, that's the word, for the duration, yeah, for the duration of her hiding, she kept the diary because of the things she wrote, so here for the duration of her hiding means for the period of her hiding, for the duration, period, for the duration, yeah. So like here, uh, this is all about the background of Anne Frank's diary. And here this word N-A-T-I, this is the factor of the Nazis. Yeah, thank you. And here this word Holocaust. Thank you. So here should be the whole paragraph once again during the during World War II. Germany adopted a racist policy that led to the murder of millions of Jews. This came to be known as the Holocaust. In Germany and in countries occupied by the German army, Jews were forced to wear yellow badges so that they could be legally identified. Later, they were also gunned and sent to concentration camps, where they were shot, gassed, burned to death, or allowed to die of starvation or disease. For those who could not escape from Germany in time, the only chance of survival was to hide. This was why Anne Frank and her family lived in concealment for two years in the secret annex. For the duration of her hiding, she kept the diary. Below are some of the things she wrote. Okay, so like here, below is the simplified version of the diary because for some of uh, one is that the diary article was a little bit too long. The other is that some of the words might not be so useful like for us to talk about. So like here, but basically this 90% of the things we are reading right now is from the original words of Anne Frank. Yeah, it's okay, so I can't buy the second paragraph. Wednesday, January 13th, 1943. Dearest Kitty, this morning I was constantly interrupted. As a result, I haven't been able to finish a single thing I've begun. We have a new pastime, namely, filling packages with powdered gravy. The gravy is what I gives in those products. Mr. Kugler hasn't been able to find anyone else to do this job, and the wages he has to pay us are lower. It's the kind of work they do in prisons. It's incredibly monotonous and makes us dizzy and giggly. Okay, in this there are some of the keywords of the land. Wednesday, January 13, 1943. Dearest Kitty, this morning I was constantly interrupted. As a result, I haven't been able to finish a single thing I've begun. We have a new pastime, namely, filling packages with powdered gravy. The gravy is what I've given those products. Mr. Kugler hasn't been able to find anyone else to do this job and the wages he has to pay us are lower. It's the kind of work they do in prisons. It's incredibly monotonous and makes us dizzy and giggly. Okay, so let's look at the first part together. And here, uh, for the date, you see that I also deleted this part. So this, uh, this should be of the original part of the diary article. So I'm going to say January 13th, 1943. I guess this part is not, like, 
um, all the reading on the paper. So if you wanted to add this part to the second passage, so let it go. So dear Speedy, this morning I was constantly, next word, Eva, did you catch the word? Constantly interrupted. Yeah, so when you say interrupted, you mean I was constantly stopped and bothered. This is a big one. You hear the word constantly, and I'll give a word that you can see that. I was frequently interrupted. As a result, I haven't been able to finish a single thing of fun. We have a new, the next word, shall I the next word? Past time, you're right. When you say past time, this is the only time you have to do. Past time, you have to do what? Past time, you have to do what? Past time, you have to do what? So here we have a new pastime, namely feeling happy food or the gravy. So when you say namely, here, the true expression that you want before, that is to say. So you want to say a bit of 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 a 他昨天在啊，他之前在比完赛都赛都没有啊，昨天再来赢那一次地方，可以的话可以没有够好。可是如果是 that is 或者 that is to say 的话，一般来说还是要加一个。所以这地方只是一个有趣的小差别，就是 you say that is 这个动作通常会有的，可是 namely 有时候没有，所以基本上就是 that is 要加一个这样子。OK， so like that is feeling packed to powder gravy. Gravy means the juice of meat from cooking or from from uh from Process uh, production. So the amount of gravy is very rich. So the total powder gravy is only two pounds, two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two pounds. So the amount of gravy is only two Wages, our wages has to pay us a lower. It's the kind of work they do in prisons. It's incredibly, this is a long word, but not to nurse. So this is the same word, like the pin word, the same word, yeah, but not to nurse. This is very good to see. Mother is single. So in the computer, the human being is single. Yeah, so I give you some model that either we're not going to see the wage that you're going to have. This means things that are not, things that are never changed. So means that it's extremely monotonous, means it's incredibly uh, flat, it's incredibly like flat and um, interesting and makes us easy and easy. So thank you. Do you people want to give you the part again? Here is it. This morning I was constantly interrupted. As a result, I'm not going to be able to finish a single thing I have done. We have a new pastime, namely filling packages with powder gravy. The ring is one of these and company's products. Mr. Kruger hasn't been able to find anyone else to the shop, and the wages he has to pay us are lower. It's the kind of work that you can do. It's incredibly monotonous and makes us easy and equally. Yeah, he's in quotes. This company uh, was in the building of Anne's father, next to the secret annex where they were hiding. So it's a bit of a hassle. 他们家原本的建筑物，那他们把他们先葬了，然后就搬到那个密室里，然后两边就让他们清理那些东东西，所以他们连名字都改了，所以那个密室他们当中有那个名字，所以原本这间康这间公司就在他们所在的原本的住的地方里面，可能搬去以后就给别人，呀 ，OK， 所以 here this will be the key part of the suffering of and and the family and also the Jews during the time. So this part is a little bit long, so we're going to be unplanned for a while now. So this, this is the third part of the reading. Brutal things are happening outside. At any time of day or night, poor, helpless people are being dragged out of their homes. They are allowed to take only a backpack and a little cash with them. And even then, their possessions are usually snatched away from them on the way. Families are being torn apart. Children come home from school to find that their parents have disappeared. Women return from shopping to find their houses sealed and their families gone. Christians in Holland are also living in dread because
because their sons are being sent to Germany. Everyone is scared. Every night, hundreds of planes pass over Holland on their way to German cities to sell their bombs on German soil. Every hour, hundreds, or maybe even thousands, of people are being slaughtered in Russia and Africa. No one can keep out of the conflict. The entire world is at war. Even though the Allies are doing better now, the end is nowhere in sight. This part is kind of long, but the words are under the theme, so we'll take a together to your shape now. So here, brutal things are happening outside. What the word brutal may ask you? Like a word begins to be a little bit of It's kind of cool. Tall, work. So it's like brutal, horrible things are happening outside. At any time of day or night, how many people are reading this word, and you the word, drag. Drag, being drag. If you want to drag, you might be able to take or drag, being pulled. So, if you want to drag, pull. But drag, pull is how you drag, you mean pull in a violent way. So, like, those people, they were pulled violently out of their homes. Because the Nazis, they wouldn't let them stay inside. Yeah. So, here they are allowed to take only a, I guess this is an easy word, back pack. That's a problem. You don't catch with them. And even then, their possession. Two people of possession. Two parts of it. We have here. That says E. That says I. Over here. That makes all. This is the index. This is the possessions. That we hold. But the other one is the title. The person's title. B. Long. In. I. N. G. T. A. S. O. This is the belonging. This is the possession. This is the person's title. This is the person's title. This is the person's title. Because 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 this is the person's title. On the train, 在火车上，你的个人财物，这两个字特别在于 ，possessions 是说你的全部的家当，通常会这样说。Belongings 也是说 the things you bring with you when you are on the way。所以一个是行动中，通常指的是行动中的一个是全部的，知道吗？所以一个是随身行李，一个是家当，通常这样子的。Yeah. So your families are being torn apart. So when you say torn apart， 这个地方的这个句可以问一下 ，torn 的句子。P A R， 这个是 P R 哦，这个要念 P R 的音，所以这里面的三台是 P A R O R N， 所以它 P O R E P O R N， 所以这个 B O R N part very easy， 就是是把东西拉开，所以你说 The singer tore his shirt apart， 他就把他的裙子全部全部撕开，所以这里面有一个字 R 开头的，就是 Red。Red 这个字是这个 hair， 所以这个地方 red 的过去是 red， 所以你也可以说 families are being ripped apart， 就是被撕裂、被被拆散的意思。OK， so families are being separated， families are being ripped apart。OK， yeah。所以 if children come home from school to find their parents have disappeared， we are being come home to find their houses left。一个字是被查封 ，seal， and their families。Gone. 所以这个地方都是发现被怎样发现一件，可这地方稍微注意一下，有两句被省略 ，being sealed 已经被查封了 ，being gone being missing 已经不见，所以这地方一个是被查封，一个是不见。这边呀，来听 ，I found my money missing after I opened my bag. I found my money gone after I opened my bag. 我把袋子打开之后发现我的钱不见。来，这边，就说 in Holland are also living in 一开头的字，听到吗？ Dread, you are busy. So I get in dread. What word means in fear and worry? Dread is very scary. Dread is very scary. So dread is very scary. 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 他惊恐地看着我，用眼代表比较更空气的情绪。It's okay. Yeah. So the dreams are again brutal things that are happening outside. At any time of day or night, poor homeless people are being dragged out of homes. They are allowed to take only a backpack and a little pack with them. And even then, their possessions are usually snatched away from them on the way. Families are being torn apart. Children come home from school to find out that their parents have disappeared. We are returned from shopping to find out how to steal and get a family spawn. 
these changes in color are also leading to dread because the signs are being sent to Germany. Everyone is scared. Yeah. So the next part, every night hundreds of planes pass over. Yeah, Holland on their way to German cities to so their bombs. So this is even a free pressure. You so their bombs on the soil of Portugal. So they so so the song. S O W N go to German city. So they all smell so much because they have to solve it. We need to to drop a lot of bombs on the land of Germany. So they all can put in a little bit of this is like start of the Portugal city of Bahia. 下单像一样下下来，收的房子都是收的，对吧？所以 every hour hundred maybe thousand people are being slaughtered. S A A E G E R， 这个字念多了一样，所以发音稍稍有区别。Slaughter means kill in large numbers. No one can keep out of the 这个字是不是念错了 ？C 开头的字 conflict conflict means keep out of 冲突。The fight and struggle. The entire world is at war. Even though the allies are doing better now, the end is nowhere in sight. Yeah, we'll talk about expression next time. Okay, and this is the badge of uh, 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 the yellow badge. This is the yellow badge. Yeah, it's special color because it's yellow. Okay, yeah. And here, this is the yellow badge. So, everyone, please. Today, 下